Driven by a lifelong passion for construction, physics, and mathematics, Mohiuddin Ali Khan, PhD, PE, MICE, has built an accomplished career as a structural engineer, business leader, educator, researcher, and author. Inspired by his scientific heroes, Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton, he has been proud to follow in their footsteps and carve out his own impact in the fields of science and technology over the course of five decades. As a young boy, Dr. Khan had many prominent figures in his life to look up to, including his siblings, four of whom became medical doctors, while the youngest one studied in the University of Missouri as an engineer. Naturally, the sciences loomed large in his environment, and he gained an interest in the subjects of Newton's law, physics, mathematics, and medicine from a young age. In addition to engineering, which he gravitated toward through the concept of building bridges, dams, and nuclear power stations. Balancing his loves for medicine and engineering, he ultimately selected the latter as his primary focus by the time he entered high school. As he furthered his education, he was exposed to influential and encouraging teachers and tutors, as well as their academic theories, pushing him even more to contribute to the field professionally. Upon earning a Bachelor of Engineering from NED University of Engineering and Technology in Pakistan in 1961, where he was top of his class in merit, he subsequently obtained a Master of Philosophy in Structural Mechanics from the University of London. He had received a scholarship to Imperial College London, also known as Imperial College of Science, Technology and Medicine, a prestigious public research school where he was mentored by a great professor of his, A. L. L. Baker, and became one of the youngest students in his graduating class, ultimately earning a postgraduate diploma in the new material of concrete technology. Dr. Khan, who also received a Doctor of Philosophy from the University of Southampton in 1972, considers his time as a student at Imperial College to be a highlight of his life, where Professor Abdus Salam from Pakistan had the honor to become Nobel Prize winner in theoretical physics. After higher education and training in England, Dr. Khan relocated to the United States, where he was invited to work on building nuclear power plants. In doing so, he was provided with a green card and expenses, the work was exhausting, taking up to six days a week for about five years, after which point he received a further well-paid appointment as specialist engineer with the famous Bechtel Corporation. As he continued on in his professional journey, he found success as a researcher in concrete technology at Northwestern University in Illinois, as well as head of the graduate engineering faculty and acting chairman of the Civil Engineering Department at NED University of Engineering and Technology. Between 1999 and 2018, he served on the adjunct faculty at Temple and Drexel Universities in Philadelphia. When he took the chartered engineering exam in England, his technical essay was judged by the examiners as one of outstanding merit. He was motivated to become a licensed engineer in five states, Delaware, Maryland, New Hampshire, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. In 2005, a 7.2 to 7.5 earthquake hit India and Pakistan, which left 100,000 people killed and many schools destroyed. The American Society of Civil Engineers, with which he was affiliated as a researcher, chartered member, and publisher of papers, many of them surrounding earthquake science, was soon advised by the U.S. government to aid the region that was worse affected. He and a few other experts were selected to lead the cause. He went to the sites for about three weeks to a month and found the buildings were not structurally equipped to handle a natural disaster. And so he helped launch an engineering course for those who lived and worked there. Dr. Khan wanted the people there to have the knowledge needed for future safe building construction, which took about nine to 10 months. He published papers on the work they did and was encouraged to help other engineers through his own business. He worked on complex aircraft hangar projects in Iran for many years and also on Saudi Arabia transportation projects. Outside of his primary roles, Dr. Khan has lent his expertise as a volunteer structural group chairman of the Philadelphia section of the American Society of Civil Engineers, a charter member of the advisory team for the American Society of Civil Engineers, becoming the founder and editor of the International Research Journal at NED University. In 2014, the president of the Institution of Civil Engineers, UK, certified that he achieved the distinction of having been a member of that institution for 50 years. Additionally, 
He has authored numerous research papers for international journals since 1967, as well as many books and journal articles. His published works include Rehabilitation and Repair of Bridges and Highway Structure in 2010, Transportation Engineering Handbook in 2011, Elsevier BH Earthquake Resistant Structures in 2013, and both Flood Scour for Bridges and Highways, Prevention and Control of Soil Erosion, and Accelerated Bridge Construction in 2015. In 2017, the State of New Jersey Bureau for Research wrote, The information you shared with us was both timely and insightful. Dr. Khan has also been an invited guest at the President's Dinner at the Washington Convention Center in 2006 and an invited attendee of the inaugural reception and dinner of World Peace and Prosperity Foundation in 2007. Over the years, he has given lectures to practicing engineers, supervised master's and PhD theses, and attended and organized numerous structural conferences. In recognition of his myriad achievements, he has received numerous academic awards from professional organizations, such as a Certificate of Merit Award and Certificates of Appreciation from the American Society of Civil Engineers, a Certificate of Recognition by Omics Group and Swinburne University of Technology, Australia, and University of Western Ontario, Canada in 2013 for his research on hydrology. An SEI Chapter of the Year Award from the SEI Philadelphia Chapter of Structural Engineering Institute in 2014, and a Merit Essay Award from the Institution of Civil Engineers in England. Happily married with three children, who also try to walk in his footsteps, Dr. Khan hopes to advise budding engineers and scientists to get a good education, take an interest in the scientific aspects of the field, and be mindful of climate change and the works of Einstein and Newton. In other words, he noted, always try to develop a huge wealth of knowledge as the journey of a thousand miles begins with but a single step.